chasing down HIPAA violations isn't just about enforcing compliance. It's about the government collecting big bucks. Take, for example, the $5.5 million settlement between the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office of Civil Rights, the branch charged with enforcement of HIPAA's privacy and security rules, and Florida-based Memorial Health System. The charge? Alleged violations of the privacy and security rules arising from the failure to properly control access to patients' protected health information, PHI. Memorial operates six hospitals, an urgent care center, a nursing home, and a variety of ancillary health care facilities. It's also affiliated with physicians' offices through a HIPAA-organized health care arrangement. The government alleged that the PHI of over 100,000 patients had been impermissibly accessed by Memorial employees and impermissibly disclosed to affiliated physicians' office staff. Of those, 80,000 individuals' PHI had been accessed by a single former employee, just one person, whose login credentials hadn't been terminated. And if you think that's a bit out of proportion, how about another Office of Civil Rights Settlement, this one involving no alleged actual breach, but only a potential breach? That case involved St. Elizabeth's Medical Center, a hospital in Brighton, Massachusetts, that paid over $200,000 to OCR to settle. The medical center's employees were using hundreds of online applications to store or submit patients' PHI. As a result, PHI could have been disclosed. In fact, it's been reported that in the average large hospital setting, there can be up to 900 cloud-based sharing apps being used by hospital employees. <laughs> I had no idea there, there were that many cloud-based sharing apps. The point here is that no matter what you think about HIPAA compliance, that it's all make work or even pure bullshit, HIPAA is real and so is its enforcement. Compliance with the privacy and security rules takes both documentation and, surprise, actual implementation. And it takes a large dose of introspection and auditing. What works in your particular instance in the context of your ASC, your facility, your medical group? What's actually going on day to day in terms of PHAI access and use among your employees, medical group partners, and subcontractors? Are there actions resulting in actual or even in potential HIPAA violations? Compliance isn't dry, it's alive and active. And the penalties for blowing it off or mistakenly blowing it are quite substantial.